Welcome to our continued series on how to set up Win 3 Sync to run in the background. In this episode, we'll be explaining how to set up and using the background processor that resides on the system tray. The system tray sync is a process that resides on the system tray like an icon, like a Windows icon. It's easy to set up, it takes less than a, than a minute. And it's visual, it's visual and easy to control, so you can stop syncs, you can uh, reschedule syncs, or you can sync immediately by using this uh, scheduler. And it's primarily used on a one user installation, client installation that don't have a multi-user environment. As well, it's not a Windows service, so it just stays on the system tray. So if the computer is, is shut down, and restart it unless it's on the startup uh, section on the computer it will not be syncing so let's see how we can start the background system tray manager so you click on start let's go to all programs go to one two three sync server and we just click on on the icon and yeah, as you will see on the corner, there's going to be the icon for the 123 sync, sync Manager. If you right click on it, you can sync now. You can go and change the automation settings that we set. You can also um, uh, see when the next sync is, uh, has been scheduled, or by clicking on the Stop Background Manager, it will just stop. The one, this Background Manager intrinsically just stays there wakes up, runs the sink, and then just uh, goes to uh, sleep. So just as the final, the background manager is actually a, an executable that resides on our 123 sync 2012. So if you just go to 123 2012, and the background manager is this file over here. It's 123 sync background manager. So if you double click on it, it will start the background manager. With that said, this file can then be addressed or started from anywhere on the system, including the startup menu uh, when Windows starts. So you can set that up on your system to do it, but by default, uh, we do not uh, start it. We actually ask you to do it interactively. Anyway, this concludes uh, the presentation on how to use the background manager.